This is an inline four cylinder overhead valve engine. My first multi cylinder four cycle engine. It's built from bar stock. It has a splash oiling system and a complete cooling system through the block and the radiator. It has a spark ignition. It runs on regular gasoline. This next engine is my 302 Ford V8 engine. It was completed in the late 80s. It too is made from bar stock, all scratch built. It has a full pressure oil system, electronic ignition triggered by a Hall transistor. It has complete cooling through the block, the heads, and the manifold. It's primarily made from aluminum, the block, the, the heads are iron. This is the carburetor that normally goes on it. I put it out for display and I run it on a small model airplane type carburetor. I have approximately 2,500 hours in the build over three years. It probably has 30 hours of running time on it since its completion. The next engine is a Holt Caterpillar 75 horse engine. It was built from the drawings that, Holt, that Coles used to sell. I didn't care for the way that it was built and I heard some poor remarks about the casting so I scratch built mine. I bought the large flywheel and the intake and exhaust manifolds as castings. It has a splash oil system and a set of points to trigger the electronic ignition. It has a one inch bore, an inch and a quarter stroke. It's water cooled and runs on regular gasoline. The next engine is my miniaturized copy of a Ford 300 cubic inch six cylinder engine. It is made from bar stock. It has a splash oil system and the ignition is electronic triggered by a Hall transistor. The radiator is from a piece of electronic equipment and it was modified to use for my engine because it resembles an automotive type radiator. The next engine is what I call my Ford Lac or combination Ford flathead with a Cadillac exhaust. In making it from bar stock there was no way I could figure out how to get the exhaust through the water jacket and the block to exit like a normal flathead engine. So I have the exhaust out the top like a Cadillac. It has a full pressure oil system, complete cooling through the block, the heads and back into the radiator. 
It's modeled after a Ford 8BA flathead from 1949 to 53. The heads are two pieces. The water pumps are made in two pieces to create the water jackets inside them. It's made primarily from 6061 aluminum. The crankshaft is 1144 steel. The next engine is the associated hit and miss. The castings were originally made by Paul Bryce out of Pennsylvania many years ago. The main castings are cast iron, the flywheels, the crank case, the water hopper. The other fittings on it, the valve gear, are made from stainless steel. It has a point trigger for the ignition. The next engine is called the Topsy Turvy. It's a scratch built engine. The drawings were published in, I believe, Home Shop Machinist many, many years ago. It's made from cast iron, the flywheel, the upright, with stainless fittings on it. The next engine is another of Paul Bryce's casting kits. This is the Little Brother, so named because it was a miniaturization of the Associated, so apparently just called it the Little Brother. It too is made primarily from cast iron. and has a point trigger for the ignition system. The last engine in my gasoline collection of larger engines is my 90 degree V-twin, my own design. It also is scratch built. It has iron cylinders, aluminum heads with bronze valve guides. It has a full pressure oil system. The crankshaft rides on ball bearings. It has a hall trigger for the ignition. The bore is one inch and the stroke is an inch and a quarter. So this is my collection of larger internal combustion engines.